Okay, hello everyone and welcome to a new PHP programming tutorial. So in today's video, we are going to have a look at what is called sessions. And the idea of sessions that they allow the computer to remember who you are between different calls. So for example, let's say that uh, you perform a login uh, via Gmail or Yahoo. So the first time you enter username and password and then you navigate to your, to your email page. The computer still remembers who you are, right? So when you are navigating different sections and different pages, the computer could recognize you. Uh, not only in, in emails but many sites do this so how does the server know who you are well basically think about it like this now uh, whenever you connect to the server okay so the server will create uh, like a small chunk of memory think about it like a small notepad and it will it will write something in it like something in, like a random number so a b a a b c whatever Let, let's assume try something like this and this is basically a unique identifier that the server will use to identify who you are so now later on every time your browser connects to the server uh, it will send this information, this number, and the server will search in its memory, uh, in its notepads, let's say, for the one having your own number. So it will, it might find username, it might find your age, it might find some of uh, things like account information. Uh, and so on so every time your browser connects to the server it will send this unique number and this will be used by the server to do what to retrieve your information in order to render things specific to you I hope this makes sense so um, let us try something here right so i'm gonna create a very simple game it is a guessing game right so the computer will generate an, a random number and keep asking you what the number is it will tell you if it is higher or lower so php okay so first first thing to do the computer need to generate a random number so my number equals uh, round it so I'm gonna choose a number between 0 and 3 2 7 6 8 or let's say million 5 6 okay so I know it's a little bit hard to guess what the number is right um, maybe instead of million make it 100 right so now I should render a window to the user and ask him to guess what the number is so we need a form uh, method equal uh, get let's make it get why not and we're going to say what is the number and on put name equal n and button guess something that is very straightforward okay so far so good right so 
this information will be submitted and the parameter will be n so here we need to validate things so before we do that before we do that um, I'm gonna say here um, if um, a set if it is set what uh, get and so I am already guessing the number otherwise if it is not set it means this is my first time executing the code so I want to do what I want to guess so I will do this it won't work but this is the point my number equals get n echo right guess else echo guess again right so something very straightforward so let's refresh uh, cancel there you go enter so I have this one we don't know what the number is I will write 33 and give it a guess and as soon as you do that it says warning undefined variable my number right on line 5 so what happens that this my number has not been um, let's say set why because every time you write or you submit values to the server um, the variables are gone so let's uh, let's trace this so let me listen to this code and let me go back to the original page and enter let's see what's going to happen next so now the get ma uh, the get array doesn't have any element because this is a new page right so I press F10 and basically number will be generated now so my number is 9 my guess is 9 okay so far so good I press F10 now let me go to the browser oops let me close this let me go to the browser and let me write the value 9 and guess the number so what's gonna happen so here this is 9 however if I put the pointer on my number it is not initialized right so this is why we are checking something not initialized against our value this is why we are getting the error we need to make sure that the server remember this value because we are we are trying to use it on later calls to do that we need first to instruct the server to remember us how does the server remember us we just say session start there you go session start now this is not enough we have to store the value in and let's say the server's notepad right so we are gonna say here session off uh, n equals my number okay you could e you could even say you, op you could optimize this and just replace my number with this one will work and you know it will be one line of code but no man it's all right no problem so what happens here is what we are now storing this number here right so we are going to do the following we are going to check a value is being passed and set 
session of n. Okay, so now we are asking two things. The first thing is that we are asking if the user submitted a number and also if the server remembers the random number being generated. If both are there. Uh, we could, in that case, my number equals this one. Okay? So we get the number from session and work on it. So let's save this one. Okay, so now let's uh, remove this and enter. So I'll say one, guess again, two and three. Yeah, it's very, a little bit hard to guess. So maybe, maybe we should display something saying that the number is higher or lower. So, else, if my number um, is greater get of n echo, the number you guessed is low, right? Because uh, the number should be higher else we are gonna say the number you guessed is high okay so now I'm gonna uh, let me start here again what is the number I'll assume it's 50 now the number is low, so I will assume it is 75. It's high, so it's between 50 and 75, let's say 60. Low, 60, um, 65, um, 70, um, 68, 67. 66 come on right guess so it was six uh, 66 right now uh, when you guess uh, right um, we could actually generate a new number to start a new game because it will always remember this one so every time if I keep writing 66 it will keep uh, the same number so basically we could actually just uh, you know, generate a new random number. So let's have a look and see what is going on. So listen for xdebug and um, to get rid of the session information, I will just uh, close the browser and open it again. Usually, this get rid of the session. Okay, so. I will start with this one. Um, basically, in, in my link, I already have N66, but the session is clean, so the session array doesn't have anything. So since this is the case, you can see here an, a new random number B is being generated. In this case, it is 23. So 23 goes to session. There you go. And then I get this value, uh, this rendering of the form. What is the number? I'll assume it is 90, 99. Okay, and the price guess. So uh, we go back. Oh, what's going on? Sorry. Okay, so we go back. Now session start get executed again. So now the server uh, identifies our, let's say, memory or notepad. So get is what is 99. So what does the session have? The session has a 23, as you can see here, right? So this is 99, this is what, 23, right? So now we are getting the value from the session and now we could check against it. And based on that, we'll check and display the message 
your guess is high, and so on. Right? Very straight, uh, straightforward. Uh, so let's continue. And uh, I'm gonna say it's number one and press guess again. And uh, if, if you put the pointer on session, it won't work for now. So let me add watch. Where is add watch? There you go. Add watch. So you can see session is null, right? So when I run session start, the server identifies our session and we can uh, it knows now it has the value 23 in it so it will get the value and check check it against this one and so on right uh, so this is basically what is happening when you perform a login the server identifies who you are and stores your status in a session so that it knows you performed a login it doesn't ask you all the time uh, for the username or and password otherwise the internet will be unusable with this technique the server could remember who you are uh, even if the connection uh, oh, sorry uh, even if, let's say, your internet connection goes down for a few minutes and com comes back later, uh, there is a lifetime for the, this session uh, on the server. Uh, it could last sometimes 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. It depends on the configuration of, of the server. Also, uh, if you open a new browser, a different browser, uh, each browser will have its own session. So this one has its own session and it will remember this value 23 as long as it's open. Uh, if you open a new browser like incognito mode or uh, Chrome or Firefox, uh, in that case, a new session will be generated. Now to get rid of the current session, you could close the browser and start it again. This will result in the session value stored here to to go away right so uh, this is one of the ways you could uh, you know uh, one of the ways that you could get rid of the session for debugging purposes or whatever but uh, yeah this is the basic idea of uh, making sessions I hope uh, you find this useful and uh, see you tomorrow Bye-bye.